And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask for Mr. Judges. Kaya pa ba? I'm sure nahihirapan na tayo. Body, face. And now, we will get to know more about our candidates. With one of my personal favorites. The Q&A portion. So, if I could ask for everyone's attention, please, especially to our beautiful women at the back, please listen carefully. For this particular portion, you will be asked two questions. One in Filipino and the second one in English. And our ladies are free to answer using either English or Filipino. Candidates will be given one minute each to answer each question. And time is up when you hear this sound. So, and na ba kayo? For the question and answer portion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are equally excited to of course get to know our candidates more. So, hindi na natin babatagalin pa. Beginning with Miss Project 6, Carmel Alapino. Hi, Carmel. How are you feeling? I'm feeling quite nervous, but I'm also excited for what we have in store tonight. Alright, once again, we <laughs> will be asking you two questions. One in Filipino, one in English, and you're free to use kung saan ka mas comportable, whether English or Filipino. Alright? Your first question, Carmel, is Bilang isang budget fan, sino sa tingin mo ang pinakamagaling na beauty queen sa Pilipinas? Bilang isang budget fan, para sa akin, ang pinakamagaling na beauty queen ay si Catriona Gray. As an inspiration, she has personified the golden standards of the Philippines and not only that, she has also represented our country well in the Miss Universe stage and that has impacted a lot of people, not only here in the Philippines, but in the whole universe. Yeah! Alright! Catriona Gray, also my personal favorite, aside from all of you girls, of course. And, question number two, are you ready? Yes, I am. Why should people watch beauty pageants given its constant changes? People should watch beauty pageants given its constant changes because we are rallying for inclusivity. As an advocate for defying beauty standards, I believe that there is no age, no gender, or no race in beauty. And with that, I believe that with beauty pageants, we are given a platform to be given a chance to express our opinions and express our platforms. And with that, I believe that it is very much timely and relevant not only to the Philippines, but to the whole universe, to be given advocacies and to be given um, time and effort to be presenting here in front of you today. All right, once again, Miss Project 6, Colonel Anakino, Maraming Salama. Next, we have Miss Gulod, Christina Wyatt, Marie Bacanawa. Christine, as they say, gold is power. So, do you feel empowered tonight? Extremely! Hello, Chai Mama! Alright, your first question, Christine. Sa iyong trabaho bilang financial consultant, ano sa tingin mo ang pinakamahalagang aral tungkol sa pera? Para sa akin, ang pinakamahalagang aral tungkol sa pera ay pag invest nito. Because it's not enough to save it, we should also know how to grow it. And that is my job, that is my passion, and that is what I'm willing to share with you all. That's all, thank you. Alright! I should learn from you. We will be talking after the competition. <laughs> Alright, and your second question is, what is your definition of an empowered woman? financially independent ever since I was 16 years old and I can say that I faced a lot of adversities in life and I'm proud to say that I was able to conquer it all so here I am now so for me what is empowered is someone 
who can win adversities and also be confident on losing. Because losing is how we win. We might not win today, but we will win tomorrow. All right, once again, Ms. Gula, Christine, boy, thank you Thank you very much. Next, we'd like to call on Ms. Sokoro, Abigail Mahendas. I love your outfit tonight. They say blue is the color of royalty. So what do you say? Are you feeling confident tonight? I feel successful. All right. First time I've heard that word today, you know? All right. Abigail, here's your, here's your question. Mahilig ka raw mag-dive. Ano ang pinakamagandang nakita mo sa ilalim ng dagat? Um, ang nasasabi ko sa hili ko sa pagdadive is yung tranquility or yung peace of mind na nasa ilalim ng dagat. Um, it, sa araw-araw na pakikibaka ko bilang breadwinner, napakaraming ingay na naririnig ko hindi lang sa pamilya ko kundi sa ibang mga tao maraming negative comments pero nandito ako ngayon para para patunayan na ako'y karapat dapat at yun lamang dahil kapag isa sa mga trait na nasa ocean na peace of mind thank you very much and your second question is how powerful are dreams for you? For me, dreams is powerful because it embodies someone's goals and aspirations in life. As someone who uh, came from, um, as someone who went from poverty, I am an embodiment of the transformative power of dreams. I am here because um, I wanted to inspire other women to stand out and to. Um, so look out for the subs and be confident and be successful because at the end of the day, um, it, you only have yourself. And that, that, that being said, you can empower other people as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Socorro Abigail Cajetas. Next, Ms. Batasan Hills, Marinela Catalan. Magandang gabi po. Magandang gabi. Wow! She came prepared. Alright? Now, Marinela, your first question is, Ano para sa'yo ang kulay ng buhay na puno ng pagmamahal? At bakit? Magandang gabi po. Para sa akin ang kulay ng buhay ay isang bahaghari. Bilang isang uh, nag-advocacy ng Saudi Equality Bill, ako ay isang proud bisexual. At nandito sa inyong harapan at naniniwala na balang araw, isang pinakamataas na tao ay magbumula sa LGBT community. We are very proud of you, of course. Now, your next question is, how can we create a more accepting society for people? Thank you. As we all know that Quezon City is one of the LGBTQIA plus community friendly, we can promote a Saudi equality bill and also into inclusivity. Because I believe that if we accept each other, we can create a community that celebrates uniqueness, accepts realness, and celebrates embodiment of a true Filipino. Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Ms. Batasan Hills, Marinela Katakai. Next on stage, please welcome her, Ms. Vasa Jocelyn Tobias. Ms. Vasa, I noticed that you have quite a lot of fans here, and you words for all your fans. Your first question is, bilang isang designer, ano ang paborito mong klase ng damit at bakit? Bilang isang designer po, ang pinakapaborito ko po 
ay ang mga disenyo ko na naglalabas ng kagandahan ng kababaihan. Yun po ang importante sa akin kapag po ako nagde-design ng isang gown o isang damit. Iniisip ko po kung masasayahan po ang, ang babaeng dinidesignan ko ng damit. At kung siya po ay maligaya at siya po ay magkakaroon ng more confidence in herself. And I have made my creativity very important for her. Alright! Thank you very much. Very sympathetic too of the feelings of your client, no? And now for your second question, Ms. Baeza. How would we be able to make the younger generation continue dreaming? For me, it is very important that the young generation keeps on dreaming. Because when I was a little girl, I, I, I dreamed of being a beauty queen. And I would like to tell the little women, little girls, that dreams do come true if they only persevere and they have the passion and the determination to fulfill their dreams, they will fulfill their dreams. Like me right now, I'm 69 years old, and when I was 10 years old, I was dreaming. Thank you. Dreams. So keep on dreaming. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Vanessa. Trust in Kubala. Miss Basson Buddha Proper Genesis Durana. Hi Genesis, how are you? Hello, I'm great. How about you? How are you doing? Well, I'm very excited to see all of you. Now that I've seen all of you, I'm very satisfied. The hat is so And I wouldn't want to be in the judge's position now, so judges, good luck. Now, Genesis. Maaari mo bang ibahagi sa amin ang pinakanaalala mong karanasan sa iyong pagkakawang gawa? Sa aking pagkakawang gawa ay marami po akong karanasan na maaari i-share sa inyo. Ako po ay lumaki sa isang missionary family. So ako po ay na-expose sa different sectors ng society. So mula bata pa lamang ako ay namulat na ako kung gaano kahalaga ang pagmamahal, ang pagpapahalaga, ang pagpapasalamat sa buhay na meron tayo. So kung na, ano man po ang meron tayo ngayon ay dapat po tayo maging thankful and grateful. And I am thankful for my life that the Lord given me a second chance as a miracle baby and an only child. So I'm here standing my advocacy. I wanted to continue my legacy. Thank you very much, Genesis. You serve as an inspiration to all of us. And the second question is, do you support the government for peace program or the Pantawid Pamilyang Filipino program that helps support the less fortunate families? Yes, I do support the four Ps. It's because not all of us are having the privileged life. We all live, we all grow up into a different kind of family. Not everyone of us are living in a silver spoon. Not everyone of us are experiencing what we are having right now. So yes, I do support because those people deserve also to live the dream that they wanted to achieve. So if I will be given a chance to support them, I will be more willing and I will be voluntarily doing what they are doing to continue. So I am here to continue my advocacy as well, to support the needy, especially the less fortunate children as a pharmacist by profession as well, to know the importance of life and health. Thank you very much, Ms. Genesis. Thank you. Good job. Ms. Bagumba, how? Hi Cam, I noticed that your fans occupy the front seats, ha? Huh? So they might be early today. So any words to your fans? Magandang kabi po sa inyong lahat. At nagpapasalamat po ako na nandito kayong lahat. At I'm very grateful that everybody here is sharing this positive energy. And I'm so excited. So excited. Now that you've mentioned it, I will now give your first question to you. Bilang kapitan ng UP Pep Squad, Ano ang aral na nakuha mo na nagagamit mo ngayon? Bilang kapitan ng UP Pep Squad, marami po akong natutunan na kaya ko pong dalin sa Miss Universe Philippines Organization. 
I am a leader and I lead with integrity when it comes to my mind, my body and spirit. And this is a reminder to always take care of yourself first, to prioritize yourself and do things that will truly bring you joy and passion so that you can show up as the best version of yourself for everybody to see. Thank you so much. All right. And on to your second question. What's your stand on the saying, empowered women empower women? Empowered women empower women. This means you must surround yourself with people that empower you, that lift you up, and that see the best in you. When you take care of yourself, when you put yourself first, and you shine apologetically, and you are authentic with what you truly love to do, you are able, again, to show up as the most empowered woman that you are, and you're able to empower everyone around you and see the best in everyone around you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Mic drop. Once again, Ms. Bagumbaya, how the hell? If you'd like to call here in the front, Ms. Dawn Manuel Nicole Russia. What's your number one hobby? Do you like taking care of pets? Like going out? I like everything. I like to go boxing. I like to see, say hello to every cat in the street. I like uh -huh. to do all of that. <laughs> For mommy, I believe. And now, your first question is, sa tingin mo, Nicole, ano ang pinakamagandang natutulot sa tao ng pag-aalaga ng mga hayo? So I believe that pets or animals teach us a lot of things that we sadly don't get between humans, and that's empathy. They have one of the kindest hearts, and they are only influenced by the humans that they see around them. I believe we should be more like them, to empathize, to show more kindness. There's no judgment. Animals is pure love. And that is something I hope for everyone to have, so that we can all together be a community that's safe. Thank you. Uh, it's true though, unconditional love always coming from the best. Yes. Now, Nicole, your second question is, if you can describe a perfect world, how would you describe it? Oh, that's difficult, but to me, a perfect world entails a world of proper communication between everyone. Communication is something that has been compromised ever since technology came into our lives. We're always on our phones, sadly we're hiding behind our screens, and sometimes that communication is not even translated properly. So through that, the world that I see is a place where people can be open without judgment, without feeling scared to open up, to always be inclusive and just be kind. That's just something that I want. In that way, I can prove that being Miss Universe Philippines, Quezon City, I can redefine my beauty for a greater purpose in this world. Thank you. All right, she did not stop it. Once again, Miss Don Manuel, Nicole, Trisha Next, we have Miss Katipuna, Shereen Vega. Kamusta, Shereen? Any words to your fans, family, who are watching you right now? Yes, my first time. This is my first time. First time joining a beauty pageant. Plakpaka naman natin si Shereen. It's always a first for everything, and you're already a winner conquering that fear, not that barrier. Now, we move on to your first question, Shereen. Ano ang naging inspirasyon mo upang patuloy na magservisyo para sa bayan? father dahil naging barangay captain siya for 20 years and nakita ko kung paano siya tumulong nang walang nang walang hinihintay na kapal. Okay, maraming salamat Shereen, yung father mo ay naging barangay captain at hindi humingi ng tulong yes. kapag nakapal. Okay. Now, on to your next question. How do you think a peaceful nation can be achieved? I want to be a role model 
not only my voice but with action to influence uh, leadership to our youth and women. As a former SK chairman and the current Air Force Service from Philippine Air Force, from there you will not only learn discipline and leadership, but you will know how to be compassionate to serve our nation in time of needs. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Julie. Bagong Pagasa, Steph Monso. I really love the color of your crown, it's pink. Thank you. Is it your favorite color? One of, yes. One of your favorite colors. Now, Steph, your first question is, Kung mapupunta ka sa lugar na malulungkot ang tao, malulungkot ang tao, sa so paanong paraan mo magagamit ang talento mo? Thank you for that question. Well, all my life, kung alam nyo lang ang napagdaanan ko, it's not a happy one. Kaya ang ginagawa ko sa mga malungkot kong moments sa aking buhay, at, at ang ginagawa ko lamang ay nagsusulat lamang ako ng kanta dahil sa palahong ako lang po ang nag-iisa, musika lamang po ang nagtulong po para po makapag, I can go on with my life. So, that's all. Alright, thank you very much, Steph. Music is your outlet. Especially. All right. Now, being a musician, do you still see music as a universal language? Why or why not? First of all, yes. Because everyone appreciates music. Music is life. Without music, we wouldn't have a tone or an undertone that we feel in our emotions in our day-to-day -day lives. There's always a song for every emotion and that helps. That makes us feel like we're not alone and that's what's important because no man is an island. Thank you. Thank you very much, Steph. Next, we have Ms. Bago Silana and Wayne Marie Larson. Hi, Elaine. Did you choose that color of the gown for tonight? All right. Now, Elaine, your question is, may hangganan ba ang pagbibigay para sa iyo? Para sa akin, wala hangganan ang pagbibigay kasi ito ay taos puso mong, buong puso mong kinakagalap na ipagbigay sa buong kapwa mo mamaya na ang Pilipino. Dahil sa pagbibigay mo na yun, madami matututunan sa mga kabataan ngayon na gusto kang tularan. All right, thank you very much. And your next question, Elaine, is when is someone entitled to take risks? For that one, if ever between life and death, of course, you're gonna really have to stay back for being to take an action to help other people because especially if you try to have an empathy without it, so, of course, you will really try to do to help other people for you, of course, like, to more give meaningful people to their lives, that's it. Thank you very much, Elaine. Good job. Next, we have Miss South Triangle, Lorraine Mojimba. Lorraine, you're so tall. Yes, I know. I've been told it a lot. Are you always at the back of the line? Usually, yes. <laughs> Usually. All right, Lorraine, your question is, anong sasabihin mo sa taong hinuhusgahan ka base sa iyong physical na itsura? Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ako po ay half Nigerian and half Filipina. Ang aking pong tatay ay maitim. Sa kanyang kutis, ang aking namang pong nanay ay kulay porcelana. Nung ako po ay lumanak, eh, sinasabihan po ako na masyado akong maitim para maging Pilipino, ngunit masyado din daw akong maputi para maging isang African or Nigerian. Kaya naman ang sasabihin ko sa mga tao humusga sa akin, lalo na nung ako pa'y bata, ang sasabihin ko po ay hindi ito tungkol sa akin, tungkol ito sa iyong karakter. Kung ako ay yung hinuhusgahan, hindi ito dahil ako'y may kapintasan. Kung ito'y dahil 
ikaw ay may hindi maayos na kaisipan. Maraming salamat po. I, I was gonna comment, but I, I was speechless. <laughs> now, your next question is, what steps are you willing to take to attain a more equal and inclusive society? I am all for inclusivity and diversity, and I would say that the greatest step that I would take to preserve inclusivity in our society is this risk that I'm taking right now. I am here on this stage, advocating for women representation which leads to women empowerment and i believe that my presence in this miss universe philippines quezon city is one step forward towards progress and all together if we of course if we acknowledge that it is important to acknowledge different variations of women and people we will all grow not just as a city but as a nation thank you all right thank you very much Marie. We have Miss Matandang Balara, Nina Marie Ortiz. It's with me, don't worry. <laughs> now, Nina, nabalitaan namin na mahilig ka raw sa pagkain. Pwede mo ba ibahagi sa amin ang iyong pinakapaborito at bakit? So... As what you've heard, I really love foods. I love foods because I have a very supportive and happy family. Whenever I go home, they always um, there's always a food in our table. That is because it it is full of love. And my fav I think my favorite food that my family is serving is adobo. It is very simple, yet if it's served with love, I think. Everything would be perfect. Alright, thank you, Nina. I think everyone loves adobo. <laughs> I think so. But you can't have adobo one time. Uh, okay, <laughs> there's my mom. You can ask me. Alright, and your next question is Do you believe that the country should be involved in a more sustainable activities? I do believe that a country should be involved in more sustainable activities like research and development. I believe that if we start on being giving focus on research and development, we can we can make our country a lot more known in different uh, in different aspects like agriculture. If we put on a focus on getting more knowledge about our agriculture, it can be again the number one um, source of income income of our country and i believe that if we again um if we again start being a sustainable country focus on research and development we can be the change that we all have been what fighting for thank you all right once again miss matandang balara media Ladies and gentlemen, next, we have Ms. E. Rodriguez, Jamaica Ramagnosa. Now, Jamaica, your first question is, Ano sa tingin mo ang nais mong makuha aral ng mga kabataan sa pagsali mo rito? Maraming salamat sa iyong magandang katanungan. Ang nais kong makuha ng kabataan ngayon na pag-aaral at pagtuturo ng magandang asal sa kanilang kapwa kabataan. Dahil naniniwala ako na ang kabataan ang pag-asal ng bayan, kaya kailangan ng kabataan ng kailangan ng kabataan ng tamang pagrespeto sa sarili at tamang desisyon kung paano nila tatahakin ang kanilang buhay. Maraming salamat. Alright, and your next question is, do you still think that being hospitable is one of the best qualities of Filipino people? Why or why not? Thank you. For being hospit hospitable, that, that is the one of the character of a Filipino. Filipino is the most generous in other, in other aspects in our life because 
that is the most important things in this world to have the spitability and the generous because character is the foundation of our personality and I thank you. All right, once again, Ms. E. Rodriguez, Jomaita, Romagnosa. And now, ladies and gentlemen, last and certainly not the least, Miss San Agustin Gia Tatales. Now, Gia, ang una mong katanungan ay isa kang misyonaryo. Paano mo nakukumbinsi ang isang taong nagkukulang na sa pananampalataya? Maraming salamat po. Sa hindi po nakakalam, ako po at ang aking pamilya ay isang misyonero. Kami po ay nagpapalipat-lipat sa ibang lugar upang magbahagi ng salita ng Diyos. Dahil nga po sa pagiging misyonero, mas madali po namin nahihikayat ang mga taong nawawala ng pag-asa sa buhay at naniniwala na lagi lang dapat ba ng palataya. Dahil sa kahit ano man ang problema, panalangin lamang ang sagot. Alright! Thank you very much. And your next question is... Gia, can you describe a moment in your life when you felt fully accepted by everybody around you? Thank you so much. Uh, when I, I am growing up, I grew up in a Christian family. That's why it's very open to me and to my family to accept who I am. As we all know that this is my third pageant and I'm a little bit shy. But because of the support and love of the family that given to me, I'm able to stand in front of you and showcase what in my advocacy. My advocacy is about no to teenage pregnancy. That's why I am here calling out all the fathers to please give your full love to your children, especially to your daughters, so that they cannot find love at the very young age. Thank you so much. All right, once again, thank you very much, Miss San Agustin Gia Tutanes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the preliminary competition of Miss Universe Philippines, Quezon City. Palakpakan ulit natin ang ating nagkaganda kandidata. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are curious if you want to know who made it to the top 10, please watch the finals night on February 5, 2024 at the Seda Vertice North. You can get your tickets in the booth here at the ground floor in front of Jollibee or by simply messaging our Miss Universe Philippines Kansas City Facebook page. And to those who won't be able to secure their tickets, you can still watch the finals night in our official Facebook page and YouTube channel. Once again, I'm your host for tonight, Brian Pineda. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. And may you all, may all of you continue to be stars in your own ways to light the universe. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat.